Hello guys! Another day, another airport! <laughs> so we're traveling again. This time we're going to Taiwan! Taiwan. Yay! Come with us for another adventure and more and more eating. <laughs> Let's go! See you in Taiwan! We're lined up right now at the baggage drop and we're done with immigration. It's only 3.30 a.m. but we're gonna check if the lounge is already open. They usually open at 5. Para malay mo, it's our lucky day. So we're going to the lounge, we'll check it out. Hello. Hello. Wala naman tinanong sa immigration. I was just asked, sino kasama ko? Sabi ko siya po. <laughs> and then they ask, uh, when I'm coming back, what I'm gonna do in Taiwan, gusto ko sana sagutin, kaya inom po ng milk tea. Kaya lang baka yun yung makakaligwak sa akin eh. So, sa ko na lang vacation, and then, uh, they asked when I'm coming back. So, yun lang, madali lang. And, they also asked pala where I was working. Sinabi ko lang yung name ng company ko. Then, that's it. Easy as that. The lounge is still closed. It opens at 5 a.m. So, but since I'm really hungry, because I woke up really early and didn't have anything before I left the house, uh, I'm gonna look for something to eat downstairs. And then at 5, come back up here for lunch. So, yeah. it says that they're opening at 5 a.m. and there were a lot of people waiting na outside because yeah, everyone knows they open at 5 but uh, a cook stepped out from the lounge and the lights are still closed and they said that they're not yet open and they don't know what time they're opening we're just assuming 6 a.m. but yeah, so we're here now at Kenny Rogers Roadsters say hi Bakit malungkot ang beshi ko? <laughs> si Gutom ang lola mo. <laughs> It's already there, but we can see some people working on it. But in the lang, when we travel, we really don't um, schedule anything in day one. So it's like day zero. It's not counted in the actual itinerary. So that's a good tip for you guys. So that you don't, you know, if things like this happen, like there's a delay or whatnot. Um, hindi naman sayang yung mga kung may binok na kayo or whatever so yeah so at update pala nakapag, nakapag lounge kami isa isa <laughs> kasi we ask anong time makakasakay ng plane they don't know eh, but they don't require us to leave the boarding gate so, ang ginawa namin, nag-lounge kami isa-isa para sure na hindi kami maiwan. So, medyo mabilisan lang. Sinatisfy lang yung aros caldo craving. Thank you. 
and this is our mandatory finally we're boarding shot <laughs> Upon exiting the arrival hall, you turn left to get it here. Here. I got mine from Klook for the duration of my stay here. And because we're hungry, <laughs> before anything else, we got Subway here at the airport. na kami sa immigration kanina pa. Nakuha na nga yung wifi and nakawithdraw na rin kami. Uh, and we tried the lottery thing. Hindi kami na na. Nalo kami. Oh, let's. So, better luck next time. So, to ride the train, we just got a single journey, journey ticket or coin. Coin kasi bilog siya eh. <laughs> Parang coin. So yun, we're just waiting for the train. So, dapat ang sakyan is the express. So, kailangan yung violet na train para dire-diretso lang. Otherwise, one hour yung babiyahihin kasi the other train would stop in all the stations. So, we're going to the hotel now to try and check in. Pero 3 p.m. pa talaga. Pero since one old three na, baka naman pagdating namin dun, pwede na. Sana! So this first train is the commuter train. We're not gonna ride that because that stops in all the stations before you get to Taipei Main Station. So what we're waiting for is the express. And commuter train. And that's the express train, remember? Color violet. We're gonna ride this one. If you're familiar with the Zinjuku Plaza and the Malahat Path, it's just right there. Day one pa lang, dito agad tayo sa pang madiinang kain. Malahat Path. Yeah, let's go! After check-in, Malahat Path. Pang malakasan, bakit pa tayo mag-iintay, diba? Doon na tayo sa Dina. So, Right in front of our hotel is the Malahat Pat restaurant. So we're here to try it out. It's a bit expensive, but they have Wagyu beef um, and lamb and steak. So I think it's gonna be worth it. We have several options for soup. Six options. Uh, this is the collagen soup and this is the mala. So they say that it's spicy. I hope it's not too spicy because I can't. I just can't. I'll walk around later to show you the other food and then the way to order is they give you a QR code so you can order the meat um, and then your choice is this one includes Wagyu this one includes Australian Wagyu and this one includes US Wagyu this one doesn't have Wagyu for that so yeah most of 
are in Chinese, but there's an English translation, although it's super small. So Tony already made uh, our dipping sauce. So I'm not sure what's inside. Let's ask her later. And we already have our meat right here. So this is sliced bacon, Australian lamb, wagyu, and many others. Also got some veggies. Try it. Okay, so we're trying this meat from it's Australian Wagyu. Here, oh, looks good. Dip in the dipping sauce that Tony made. super good so that's our hot pot this is wagyu wagyu beef so you just dip it for a while and then it's good to go the dipping sauce here we put in raw egg in that dipping sauce and just put in some of the um, hot sauce or hot sabaw so this is the Wagyu and it's super 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 good. So the beef is so tender, it's buttery soft um, and it's... Bawat kagat mo, nalalasan mo yung preso. <laughs> Yun na lang. This is sobrang sarap niya and although it's a bit pricey but it's worth every bite. We ordered different types of meat, we ordered steak. Um, we had wagyu, we had um, bacon, and that's a uh, New Zealand Australian prime prime meat, and it's really really good. Bawat kagat mo. It, it, the funny thing is, it's different for each type of meat. You'd think that it would be the same, but there are meat na mas sobra yung flavor talaga, and with the um, mamala soup, mas na iba yung lasa niya. And then the collagen soup is. Um, it's a clear soup na mas subtle yung lasa niya. The mala, a medyo lasang satay. It, it tastes a bit like satay, a bit spicy. Um, pero not too much naman. And, as in, sobrang sarap lang yan that every bite, napapapikit ka talaga. It's really, really good. This is a must try when you're in Taipei. So these are the sauces. They have XO barbecue sauce, Japanese style soy sauce, Chinese brewed soy sauce, and many others. So you can mix stuff to make it your sauce. It's so good. It's really so good. They also have different noodles that you can put in your hot pot. And a wide variety of drinks. There's Japanese green tea, oolong tea, plum juice, and my favorite, kalpi soda. They even have ice milo and milk. And uh, coffee. Of course, a whole lot of tea. Different tea. You can even mix your own herbal tea. There. And then other juices. Soda. Plus, they also have beer. So even the beer is included. There's the different kinds of meat that are included. And then there's Heineken. There's Taiwan beer. They have fruits also. Sobrang dami guys! Super dami! And the dessert, look at this! The dessert! I think this is tiramisu. They have mochi. Super sulit. It is a bit expensive, but it is super sulit. 
then the stuff that you get within your hot pot, there are a lot of balls. Four rows, everything, different kinds of mushrooms. There are vegetables. And vegetables. One thing I don't get here, it says the tray with a light blue light is your meal. Huh? <laughs> I don't see anything with the light blue light. There's no tray here. Weird. It's aftermath of what we ate. It's really super good. Like nothing I've tried before and I've tried a lot of hot pot um, in my life in Manila. But this is the best, the best hot pot ever. And guys, check this out. Even the ice cream is included. They have mint chocolate, espresso, caramelita, maple walnut, and a whole lot of It's Moven Big Brand. And they have Hagen Dazs. Different flavors of Hagen Dash. Everything is included. These are all Hagen Dash ice cream. Super yummy. Good morning, guys. It's already 10 30, and here in Taiwan, everything is too close. Look. All the stores are closed at this hour. I think they open around 11 o'clock. Either that or they're really closed at uh, uh, Monday. So some shops, some stores are closed on Mondays. Talaga. We found this small store near our hotel where we can have breakfast today. So we have here some dumplings. And we put some chili, but only on the side because we don't know how spicy it is. And then... Let's taste it. Hey, try it. Good. Thank you. We have our beef noodle soup, dumpling, which we're gonna try in a bit. Try the beef noodle soup. Mm. 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 It tastes like wow. The broth is really good. It has peanuts, scallions, beef. Really good. The dumpling we're gonna try. Dumpling is really good. Today 
we're doing touristy things, we're going to Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. From Chiminding Station, we rode the Green Line and got off Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall Station. So there's an actual station that's named after the Memorial Hall. So we're excited today, kahit mainit. Hi! Hi! We're here at Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. Ah, that's the entrance, the Liberty Gate. I forgot what it's called. And it's super hot. Ayan, no, kailangan namin magpayong. Because currently it's 11. 11 a.m. and it's super hot. Talaga. So, ikot tayo. Let's go around. Ayan. Ayan. Magpipiktorya lang kami. And then, naalis na kami dito. Then, hindi namin kaya yung init. here at Taipei 101 station exit 4 to get to Taipei 101 so as I said kanina we're doing touristy things today and this is one of the most touristy thing you can do so when you get out of the train station wait lang sobrang inet so, and you look up here. Woohoo! That's Taipei 101. We decided to have lunch at the food court of Taipei 101. Medyo kasabay lang namin yung office workers on lunch break, so it was hard to get a table. We got our food here from Oyster Omelette. I ordered fried rice with meatball soup and oyster omelette and Tony got the Taiwanese fried chicken with meatball soup and rice bowl. If you're going to the observatory in Taipei 101, you go to the 5th floor and the ticket counter is here as well as the fastest elevator. Instead of lining up here, you can actually go to the left side. There are kiosks here where you can purchase the ticket. There's an English translation. On getting the ticket, there's a line to get to the observatory part. So we're riding the fastest elevator. And we're here. Yay. That's 
Taipei from the observatory. <laughs> We got ice cream from this shop. It's the bubo ice cream. We got the passion fruit and strawberry. <laughs> oh, okay, just a picture. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Since Taipei 101 is such a tall building. They built a mass damper in between the 87th and 92nd floors. It's a 660 metric ton tuned mass damper and this is used to stabilize the tower against movement caused by strong winds. It can actually reduce the tower's movement by 40%. And this is a closer view of the damper. This actually balances the building or the skyscraper. It's a super big wind damper, so it won't tip over. After Taipei 101, we went back to the hotel to rest a bit. We took a nap as traveling, as you know. We needed the energy so we can enjoy Ralph and night work. It's a 20 minute train ride from Ximen Station. We got off at Songshan Station after 7 stops. We went out from exit 4A and walked around 2 minutes probably to get to Rauhe Night Market. So it's to your right upon exiting the station. It's beside Songshan Temple, which is also a popular place to visit here in Taipei. This is the Michelin starred pepper buns. It's really popular here and they bake it in this special oven. Another popular street food here is the potato ball. So it comes with different flavors. Chose the peanut powder and it's their best seller. We're gonna try this potato ball. This one. It's sweet potato balls. We got the peanut flavor. I'll try it. Tastes like Peanut. Hahaha. 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 And Hahaha. 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 I try it. Hot. <laughs> Next 
next we're trying this crispy donut. One classic. We have different flavors. We're getting the classic. Classic. Crispy donut. We're trying the crispy donut. Mm. It's really good. It tastes like croissant. Croissant? Like buttery and flaky the way I like it. It's really good. Oh, we're getting this plum juice. Thank you. For fifty dollars. Try the plum juice. Refreshing. Refreshing. It tastes like cool aid. Cool aid strawberries. <laughs> Yummy. It's good. Here's some of the other food that you can buy from Rowhead Night Market. They also have Peria games here. And yeah, cold. They also sell some fresh fruits which they can make into a juice. Or they can cut it up so you can just eat it fresh like that. This one is the peanut ice cream. So they shave like a peanut brittle brick right there. They put it in a, like a lumpia wrapper and then put some ice cream. And weird, but yeah. it actually works. Yeah. It has cilantro. Strawberry, strawberry, <laughs> strawberry sweet. This one's good. So we lined up with the black pepper bun before going back to the hotel. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so that concludes our trip to Rauhe. Rauhe? Night market. It's <laughs> super init ng pepper bun. I really can. I'm gonna eat it in the hotel. I'll update you later. Later. Bye -bye.